Good morning, everybody. Mr. Crossley here. Um, I hope you've had a lovely, lovely week off last week in the sun, and I hope you've been enjoying the sun uh, at school this week as well, boys and girls. I'm not in school this week, therefore I thought it would be nice to do a video uh, for you all, uh, for you to have a go at this afternoon or whenever you want to, okay? And I'm going to do lots of fun activities. Uh, we're going to do a few little fun games. Okay, then we're going to do uh, a little gymnastics uh, game as well, which involves different shapes uh, and different positions with your body, all right? Uh, and all I, I need you to do, boys and girls, is really, really, really good listening. And not just listening, but good watching with your eyes, because there will be some activities today in this video where I'm not going to speak, but I'm going to hold up certain things, certain colours, so I might hold something up what's green, red or yellow and you have to follow um, what that means. But I'll explain that w w when we get on with it, okay? So what you need to do, boys and girls, is first of all, find a nice space in the room with a cone in your hand if you've got one, okay? If you haven't, you don't have the one. This is this is a pretend steering wheel for our car game. I've got a piece of sellotape here, all right? Um, if you haven't got cones in the classroom, that's fine. Just pretend that you're holding a steering wheel, okay? So... This is called the car warm-up, boys and girls. So in your little space in the classroom, you're going to be very careful that you don't crash your car. I'm going to drive around. Off we go. Driving around. And when I say stop, we must put our foot out and put the brake on. Stop! Put the brakes on. Well done. Fantastic. So that would actually mean red. So if I say red, that means stop at a traffic light. Okay. What does yellow mean at a traffic light, boys and girls? That's, that's, <coughs> that's right, it means get ready. Yellow means get ready, okay? So if I say yellow, you're going to drop on the spot like this. <laughs> okay. And if I say green, what does green mean? Green means you go again. So green, off we go. <laughs> well done. Red, put a pink on. Psh, put your foot out. Good. Yellow. Well done, guys. Fantastic. Green. Nice and steady looking where you're going. <laughs> Red! Fantastic. Yellow! Red! Yellow! Red! Yellow! Red! Yellow! Green! Well done, keep going. And red. This time, boys and girls, if I say yellow, to get ready this time, you're going to hop on one leg like this. One, two, three, four, five. And then change legs. One, two, three, four, five. So five hops on each leg this time. When I say green, instead of uh, driving forwards, we're going to look behind our shoulder and reverse the car looking where we're going. Reversing, going backwards, look over your shoulder so we don't bang heads. If I say red, you stop again. Okay. Are we ready? Good, uh, yellow. So five hops in each leg. One, two, three, four, five. And change legs. One, two, three, four, five. Green. Going backwards, looking behind you, looking where you're going. Well, let's see you steer your car as well. Don't crash that car, boys and girls. Red! Freeze. Yellow! One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And green. Now, yeah, going backwards, looking over your shoulder. Red! Fantastic. Yellow! One, two, three, four, five. And again, over like. One, two, three, four, five, and green. Well done. Brilliant. Red. And hold it there. Right, boys and girls. Bear with me. Okay. Who can tell me what colour is that? That's right, it's green. Make sure we're all listening. Who can tell me what colour is that? Yes, it's yellow, and that one is 
red. So this time, boys and girls, I'm not going to say anything or do anything. So if I hold a red pen up, what do you think you have to do? That's right, you have to stop. You have to stop, stand still with your car, okay? If I hold yellow up this time, okay, you, you have a choice now. You can either jog on the spot or you can do your five hops on each leg. That's up to you. But that's if I hold yellow up, okay? If I hold green up, yes, that means go. You can go backwards or forwards. It's up to you. But remember this time... I'm not going to be saying anything. So that means if you're still driving around and I'm holding a red pen up, what does that mean you're not doing? Correct. It means you are not looking at me. All right. So you've got to be looking at me while you are moving, though. OK, so. Good. That means get ready. So we're getting ready, hopping or jogging. It's up to you. Well done, guys. Keep going. Fantastic. Look where you're going. Good stuff. Is anybody still driving around? If there is, we just stop. Right, this time I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm not even going to warn you. Right. Ah. Fantastic, boys and girls. Okay, stop there, Red. Stop there. Well done. Okay, we are now... I'm going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do some gymnastics, OK? We've not had much chance to do gymnastics this year because we're not allowed to be in the hall. But I want us to do a little bit of gymnastics now in the classroom. So we're going to make some different shapes of our bodies, OK? Who can tell me a shape they know of? Any shape? Yeah, you could have a square, OK? A circle is a shape. Um, a rectangle is a shape. A triangle. Lots of different shapes, all right? But we're going to make some different shapes with our body, different types of shapes, OK? So what, we, what are you going to do, boys and girls? You're going to be moving around the classroom. At this time, we're not, we're not hopping and we're not running. We're going to do something a little bit different, OK? So we're just going to gently be on our tiptoes like this. Nice and gentle like this. Going around the classroom on our tiptoes like this. Nice and quietly like this. Nice and quiet. Nice and quiet on tiptoes. When I shout out a command, I might say pin. Pin means on your tiptoes, nice and straight, like that. You have to freeze wherever you are in the room, like that if I say pin. So let's have a, let's have a go. So on your tiptoes, on your tiptoes, pin. Fantastic, well done. The next one we're going to do is a star. So you're going to be on your tiptoes again. On your tiptoes, star. Legs and arms wide apart like a star. One more time. On those tiptoes. All done. Star! Good stuff, Foundation. Well done. Now we're going to add a new move in. This one's called a tuck. So a tuck, our knees are bent, back straight, and arms out like that for five seconds. One, two, three. Four, five. So my heels are just off the ground with that one, okay? So moving around on your tiptoes, nice and tall on those tiptoes. And tuck. Ooh, Mr. Cross nearly fell. Tuck. Well done, knees out straight, arms out straight, and back straight. Look at me at this angle up. 
Oops, a daisy. Like that. That's it. Look forward. One, two, three, four, five. Fantastic. Next shape we're going to do is called an arabesque, boys and girls. An arabesque. Okay. Let me just open my window. It's getting a little bit hot in here. Okay, arabesque. So what we do, we have to build one leg like this, but then we lean forward. Oh, like that. This is a hard one. Make sure you've got enough space. One, two, three, four, five. And this time, can we have some little jumps around the room? Little jumps around the room. And ready. Arabesque. So, leg back and balance. One, two, three, four, five. Mr. Cross is struggling with this one a bit today. And we'll do it one more time, boys and girls. Jumping around the room. Jumping around little jumps. And arabesque again. That's better, Mr. Cross. Like one, two, three, four. Five. So my back's nice and straight there. Much better balancing, Mr. Crossley. Right then. Next one we're going to do is called a snail position. So a snail, okay, you're going to get down on the floor. You can just about see me there. Yep. And you're going to bring your knees up there and hold them really tight like that. Okay. This time we can hop around the room. Little hops around the room. Ready. Snail. Snail position. Really small. Good. Well done. Make that nice and tight, that snail. Fantastic. And hopping again. Around the room. Hopping around the room. We're doing really well, foundation. Keep it going. And snail again. Snail. Wherever you are. Keep in those leaves in. Get nice and tight. Nice and small like a little snail. Nice and tiny. Good. And hopping around the room again. Hold it one more time. Hopping around the room. And snail. Well done, guys. Fantastic. So we've done pin, star, tuck, and snail. This time I'm going to do it all in one sequence. And I'm not going to move around the room. Okay. But we're going to do it all together. So we'll start off with the pin. Well, your tiptoes pin. Good. Star. Fantastic. All together. Let's try and do it all at the same time if we can, boys and girls. Tuck. That's good, Mr. Cost. That's better. My knees, arms out. All done. We'll do arabesque. Fantastic. And snail. All together. Well done. <laughs> Okay, let's try and do that even better now, a routine, we'll do it again, but try and this time we'll all count to five together and we'll all do the different balances and shapes at the same time again. Are you ready? So, pin. One, two. There's a two pounds. Alexa, stop. Sorry, my Alexa came up there. <laughs> um, so, stop. Sorry, boys and girls, my Alexa started talking. One, two, three, four. Five and star. One, nice and wide. Two, three, four, five. Fantastic. And tuck. So knees bent, back straight, arms up. There, look. Ooh, bounce on your, bounce just on your feet. You're on your feet. Knees are in the air. One, two, three, four, five. Fantastic. Arabesque. Hold that balance. One, two, three, four, five. Our best is probably the hardest one, boys and girls, because it's a lot more balancing. And the last one was snail. One, two, three, four, five. Fantastic. And we'll finish with a nice pin to finish. Okay, right then, the last bit of gymnastics that we're going to do now is we are going to do um, something called some what, gymnastic jumps now. Okay, so we're going to do what's called a pencil jump, a tuck jump, 
and a star jump if you've got room. If you haven't got room for the star jump, if teachers just make sure they just do it with their arms only or, or the legs only if there's not enough room for both, okay? So, uh, for our first jump then, our pencil jump. So pencil jump is similar to a pin, but we jump up, bend our knees, and land like that, okay? Can we do a pencil jump, boys and girls? Pencil jump, and land, keep our balance. Good, keep looking forward. Tiptoes, fingers point to the ceiling, good. And again, pencil jump, swing our arms back. Pencil jump, fantastic, hold that balance, hold. And we'll do it two more times. Pencil jump, knees bent to land, and stretch your body out. One more, pencil jump. <laughs> Excellent, boys and girls, good. We will now do a different gymnastics jump. This one is a star jump. Now, a star jump is basically a star, our legs are part arms, but we jump in the air as a star and we try to land with our feet together. You can see me a bit better there. So watch me carefully, like that. Star jump and finish with a pin. Watch again. Star jump, does that make sense? So it's a star jump, okay. We'll do five of those, are we ready? Let's go. One, and finish with a pin. Two, finish with a pin. Three, finish with a pin. Excellent, boys and girls. Four, finish with a pin. And five, foundation, finish with a pin. Wow, tremendous, guys. Next jump that we're going to do then is a tuck jump. Now, this one's quite tricky because sometimes children tend to do this and bring their heels up here. I don't want you to be jumping like that. No, not that, boys and girls. We are going to bring our knees up there while we're jumping. So watch me sideways here, hook. So like that, and my arms come out. That's one. We'll do four more. I'm going to say we'll do five from now. Five. Are you ready? Look forwards. One. And balance. Finish with a pin. Two. And balance. Finish with a pin. Three. And balance. Finish with a pin. And four. And balance. Finish with a pin. If you need a drink at this stage, boys and girls, absolutely fine, go and get a drink. Okay. So we've done pin jump, we've done tuck jump, and we've done star jump. Our last jump that we're going to do is what's called a half turn or quarter turn, if that's easier for you. So what you're going to do, you're going to jump, and you're going to turn the other way, like that. Or you can jump and just turn that way, that's fine as well. So little jumps, and turn your body around, but keep your legs together and your feet together. Okay, and land. I don't want to see children doing this. Like that, I don't want to see that, boys and girls, okay? So watch me carefully, we'll do five from now. So, one, good. Two, now I'm facing this way. Now which way will I face, boys and girls, on the next one? The other way, yes, you ready? Three. So my arms, bend, bend my knees. Four. And one more. Five, fantastic. Can we do all four jumps now together? So, we'll do, we'll do, boys and girls. I think we'll do three of each. It's quite hard. Three of each. So, we'll do a pencil jump first. One. Two. And three. Good. Now we'll do the star jump. One. Like a gymnast, nice and neat and tidy. Extend that body. Two, nice and tidy, good, and three, and now the tuck jump, boys and girls, remember knees come up for this one, three of those, one, two, and three, fantastic, Woo. and now then we will do uh, the last jump, uh, which was a half jump, sorry, I don't know if you got there, the half jump, so three of those, one, two, get those legs really high, and three, and finish with a lovely pin at the end there. Woo. Well done, boys and girls, that was really, really good. I'm quite hot in here, 
So I imagine in a classroom it would be really hot by now, so I think it's very important that we have a little cool down. And what a cool down does, boys and girls, it makes our heart, it lowers our heart rate a little bit, okay? And it makes our body cool down and not be quite as hot, okay? And it helps to relax all of our muscles, all of our muscles. So our muscles will be really, really relaxed because it slows our heartbeat down a little bit, which is a really good thing because it helps our body nice and relaxed foundation, okay? So for, for our cool down, boys and girls, all we have to do is just legs apart, and you're gonna flop to the floor like this. Hold that position there for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Oh, and come up. Next position, all I want you to do is you're going to sit on the floor like this. Legs out in front of you like this, look, on the floor. And you're going to reach forward oh, and try to touch your toes, boys and girls. Legs straight on the floor. Trying to touch your toes. Excellent, well done. Try and hold it nice and still. One, two, three, four, five. And the next one, we need to be on our knees like this foundation. On our knees. Cooling down is often better doing it on the floor foundation because it helps your body relax quicker. Okay. So, this time we're going to just lean to the side. Ugh, like that. On our knees. One, two, three, four, five. And can we go the other side? Nice and steady, nice and slow. It's not a race. Hold that position nice and still. One, two, three, four, five. And the last thing we're going to do, still on our knees, is we're going to move those shoulders. I'm going to breathe in through our nose really deep and out through our mouth. In through our nose, out through our mouth. And this time, arms up, in through the nose, out through the mouth, let it flop, in through the nose. One more, hands on your hips, in through your nose, and out through your mouth. Shake it all off, boys and girls, loosen your arms. Well done, and give yourself a big, big clap. Fantastic. Okay, stop clapping. So remember today, we have done lots of different gymnastics activities today. We've done some different shapes. Who can remember what the shapes were called, boys and girls? Can you shout them out? Yes, good. There was pin, there was star, and there was tuck. Okay, and I think there was snail as well, as a snail on the floor, all hunched together. What types of jumps did we do, boys and girls? Oh, sorry, we did an arabesque as well, didn't we, arabesque? Jumps, what kind of jumps were there? Can you remember? Have a little discussion. Can you remember what types of jumps we did? Yes, I can hear some people there, that's right. We did a uh, pencil jump, didn't we? We did tuck jump when the knees come up. We did a star jump when our legs come out, but then together, okay. And we did a half turn jump, which was turning your body around like that. Well done, boys and girls. I hope you have all enjoyed uh, that little lesson, okay. Have fun with it, and I can't wait to see you all uh, next week in normal PE, hopefully outside, and hopefully we'll have a really, really sunny day like we have today, okay. Bye-bye, boys and girls. Well done. Bye-bye.